notice that division of complex numbers, we're going to do something a little bit differently. When we did adding and subtracting and multiplying, we, the, basically the operations with complex numbers was exactly the same with polynomials. We just kind of treated the i as a variable. The only difference that we really kind of introduced was our imaginary unit i. So when we obtained an answer that was like i squared, we, re -re we represented i squared as negative 1. We also make sure we introduce the standard form of a complex number, which was a plus bi. But besides that, multiplying, adding, subtracting, the operations is exactly what you guys have already um, learned. However, division is going to be something a little bit different. Rather than dividing complex numbers or imaginary numbers, i doesn't represent a real number. It represents an imaginary number. So dividing an i into a real number, we really can't do that to find actually an answer. So rather than actually dividing, what we're going to do is simplify it. This is not considered simplified form. So to simplify this, what we can, sim what we can do is get rid of i in the denominator. We can do that by multiplying by i on the numerator in the denominator. To understand that, it's important to understand that if you have a fraction like 1 half, and you multiply that fraction by the same number on the top and the bottom, you obtain a equivalent fraction, or an equivalent fraction. Do you guys agree with me that 1 half is equivalent to 5 tenths? Right, it's equivalent. So as long as you're multiplying the same number on the top and bottom, you're producing equivalent fractions. You're not changing the fraction. You're just producing an equivalent form. However, when I do this, I now obtain negative 8i over 3i squared. Well, what is i squared represented? Negative 1. Negative one. So I have negative 8i over 3 times negative 1. Well, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. The negatives are going to divide out. So I'm going to be left with 8 thirds i. Yes, you could also write that as 8i over 3. Right? That's the same thing. But just remember, when we're talking about complex numbers, we like a plus bi. So we want to know what is the real number that's being multiplied by i. So rather than keeping it as 8i over 3, I'm just going to rewrite it as 8 thirds i. It's the same thing. It's just, again, another way to write the answer. Okay. All right, so you guys want a hard one?